in just a couple minutes. But first, let's get into the weather happening the rest of tonight. We are saying goodbye to the rain like we were just talking about, but welcoming the heat that's going to start tomorrow. It's going to stay pretty hot all weekend long, but mostly dry. We'll get a break from the rain. It's been wet the last couple of days, but expect mostly dry weather tomorrow through the weekend. It's not until next week when our rain chances will return again, and we of course stay warm and humid. We're getting now into the middle of June. That's what we have on the table for us, but it will be heating up even more so this weekend. We'll talk about why in just a few moments. Temperatures are in the 80s currently, even 90 degrees in Amy, 92 in Baton Rouge and 90 in Gonzales. So temperatures were held down at first today because we had the rain this morning, but they quickly shot up into the 80s. So it will be warm and muggy the rest of your Thursday night, but we'll stay dry. Really a wonderful Thursday evening on the way. Checking in the upper levels are water vapor imagery. Some slightly drier air is moving in, so that will really help eliminate any rain chances the rest of tonight and through tomorrow. And here's tomorrow's forecast. Beautiful sunny skies, but check this out. High temperatures in the middle 90s. I think many of us will get to the mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. It's still going to feel pretty humid, so our feels like temperatures will probably get close to 100 degrees on your Friday afternoon. So if you have to be outside tomorrow, make sure you drink plenty of water and try not to overdo it. But the one good thing is, is tomorrow, even starting right now and lasting through tomorrow, our wind direction will change and be mostly from the north and northeast. And that could actually bring us some changes, some positive changes. So tomorrow, east northeast winds expect maybe up to five to 10 miles per hour. And what that could possibly do is lower our dew points a couple of degrees tomorrow and especially Saturday. So it might feel just a smidge less humid tomorrow and Saturday, but nothing too crazy, nothing too dramatic in terms of how much more comfortable it will feel. You'll just might notice it a little bit. A small dip in humidity is expected tomorrow, but especially Saturday, but still going to feel kind of humid though all weekend long and through next week. But something kind of positive to look forward to the next couple of days with those northeasterly winds bringing us some slightly drier air, especially on the North Shore and South Mississippi. But this weekend looking great. Plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you wear the sunscreen. You keep yourself cool. Temperatures both days this weekend reaching the low to mid 90s. Feels like temperatures near 100 degrees both days. The reason why that upper ridge of high pressure we've been watching is still going to uh, build over the Gulf South this entire weekend keeps us hot, keeps us dry the next couple of days. The only time that starts to change up is not until early next week when a trough looks to come across the country. This upper low will move across the Midwest and that will send us a weak front early next week and that will increase our rain chances again next week. But we'll stay dry this entire weekend. Good news for any outdoor plans. Next week, though, with that weak front, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll bring back the chance for some scattered showers and storms. Also, we'll be watching next week in the tropics. Nothing to worry about just yet. But as that trough moves across the country, it may pull some moisture in from the Caribbean Sea northward into the Gulf of Mexico next week. So we'll be watching this closely. Things are going to change up a lot. It's over a week from now we'll be watching this and even at looking at the latest model run. It looks less and less likely that that moisture is going to get pulled from the Caribbean into the Gulf, but something we'll be watching closely. Nothing to really stress about just yet, but it's that time of the year where sometimes you can get that moisture getting pulled out of the Caribbean up north into the Gulf. We'll see nothing to worry about. No concerns on the horizon. There are no tropical developments expected over the next seven days, but that area of moisture we'll be watching next week into next weekend to see if it can do anything. So we'll keep you posted. So here's your seven day forecast. Great weather the next several days. Sunny skies, hot, humid. That's the story. And then next week, 